Hello, I'm Tess Yoakum, and here's what's happening around the Des Moines Public Schools. Students at Good Rose Middle School spent each school day preparing for their lives after they've graduated and left school behind. Recently, eighth graders there took a day to get an up-close and personal look at some of the things that they could be doing after high school. Electricians, college reps, and doctors among others, stopped by Goodrail for the 2009 Career Forum. Guest presenters talked with groups of 8th graders and related the practical application on what they're learning right now in school and how that knowledge can lead them towards a career they might have never expected. We talked about over the last couple of years about how our students need to start thinking about what they want to be in life and we're doing some explore, th uh, explore tests at, in the fall for our eighth graders and we decided last year we decided you know um, we need to show them some careers because it's hard for a kid to just say I want to be this basically the only thing they know about is what their parents are doing so uh, we started this last year and we started bringing in people from four-year schools two-year schools uh, trades we have an elect uh, somebody from uh, an electrician in here uh, nursing Iowa School of Beauty's here uh, you know just an eclectic group of careers where they can share about what they do in their career and what it takes to be um, in their position. Um, so it's just an opportunity to share with kids and give them a chance to see other options out there. And some students, like 8th grader Bryce Krebs, found out that some of their least favorite subjects will be important later in life. With the doctors, you have to be able to write you know, prescriptions and stuff and everything, well, if you don't pass language and you can't write and you don't know how to write it, then you're, you can't do it, you know. This was the second year for the Good Roll Career Forum, and the staff hopes to continue it for years to come. In other news, students at Windsor recently had the chance to express themselves through art. Windsor Elementary students were involved in a collaborative artwork with Windsor parent and artist John Stillmunks. Mr. Stillmunks and his wife, Madonna, in honor of their two sons, Ian and Brock, who both attended Windsor, gifted the school with two of three mural panels. The Windsor PTA commissioned the third panel and a border space was left on each panel for the students to share in the painting. The work now hangs in Windsor's new library. Some students at Jackson recently had a run-in with the police and learned that police officer doesn't always refer to a person. Members of the Des Moines Police Department K-9 unit took some time out of their day to visit Jackson and speak with kids about their unique jobs. Officers Nading and Gilmore, along with their partners Reno and Caesar, talk to students about the training they and their dogs go through to find drugs and apprehend criminals. With demonstrations and a question and answer session, the kids got a sense of what the officers do every day and also gave them a positive experience with law enforcement. We, we come out today to, to the elementary schools or junior highs and such when a lot of the schools and the teachers do reading programs about dogs or police officers and they read stories and it's nice we come out and we're kind of like that human face to these articles and stories that these these kids read and it's it's nice for them to be able to reach out and touch and and have a positive contact with the police department in other news a group of hoover students took time out on a recent sunday to go ice skating with some special friends hoover best buddies with sponsor cindy granquist went ice skating at the Brenton Plaza in downtown Des Moines. Several kids began their experience by holding onto the railing, but by the end of the experience, everyone was able to skate around the rink with some level of comfort. After skating, the kids went to Java Joe's for hot chocolate and friendly conversation. The Best Buddies program pairs high school students with people with intellectual disabilities to provide one-on-one -on -one friendships and enhance each other's lives. And finally, the staff at Hoyt Middle School went to some extreme lengths to help their students and parents get a clue. Costume teachers roamed the halls alongside teams of sleuthing kids and parents 
at Hoyt's Clue Night. Teachers dressed up as characters from the famous board game and sent the teams of parents and students to the infamous Clue Rooms to solve math, geography, and even science questions. Well, we've got a science activity going on where they have to compare fingerprints to the killer's fingerprints and um, fingerprints that they've collected. They will be shooting baskets in the gym. They will be doing um, a reading activity where they have to solve a mystery. They're doing a geography activity where they have to use atlases and, and answer questions. So we're really trying to incorporate lots of different content areas into this evening, not just literacy. Once they solve those problems, they receive clues leading them to deduce who did it, with what weapon, and in what room. After the teens of detectives solved all of that, they went to the auditorium where the identity of the killer was revealed. Miss White <laughs> did it with the tainted cheese bread <laughs> in the library. prize drawing for copies of education and mystery games rounded out the live action murder mystery before everyone gathered to watch the Clue movie. And if you would like us to come out and cover an event at your school, visit our website and click on the Submit a Story button. For Channel 12 News, I'm Tess Yoakum. Thanks for watching and have a great day.